Hi everyone, this is Nasir Hussain. In this video, I want to show you how you can create a student admission form or student data entry form. This is extremely easy to do. Once we create a form and we can use this form for multi-purpose data entry. First of all, I type here a title for database entry and the same title we will use for the data entry form. There are some uh, basic student detail which is usually used for data entry. Student name, date of birth, gender, class, father's name, mother's name, address, mobile number and email id if required. Now select the head arrow with the shift control right arrow and copy with control C. Go to sheet number 1, select V5 cell and press L control V. Check on transpose, click OK. Now hold control key and select all data row one by one and use keyboard shortcut key Alt H I R to insert empty row in between data row. Now select top 5 cell and uh, click on margin center increase the height of the row and type here school name adresha residential high school you can write your own school name press control enter click on middle align and increase font size up to 20 click on bold for cell color Click on theme color and select door color. Click on font color and select white color. To insert a shape, click on insert tab. Click on illustration. Click on shape and select uh, shape type. And draw shape in between uh, school name and data entry form. You can design your shape in a uh, different style and effect. Now type the name of form student admission form it may be uh, employee entry form employee registration form visitor entry form etc etc click on central line middle line and uh, font size up to 18 to select the sheet uh, click on uh, top left corner of the sheet click on theme color for more color click on more and select door color and click OK. Now select uh, entry detail cell and uh, increase font size up to 14 and uh, apply white color. Click on font and uh, select white color. Now select uh, each row one by one and uh, increase uh, row height one of the selected row. Uh, it will be applied to all selected row. In the same way, select uh, each empty row in between uh, data row one by one and decrease one of the cell height. It will be applied to all selected row. Now increase B column weight according to the data and select uh, C5 cell to apply some important rule and uh, condition. Go to conditional formatting, select new rule and click on uh, format only cell that contain format only cell with select blank cell go to format now you can choose fill option in the fill option you can select uh, multiple color for blank cell i am selecting a light color for blank cell when you select uh, the color for your blank cell then click on ok and again click on ok the condition may be apply on your blank cell. My cell is already selected and I apply second rule. Click on new rule. Click on format only cell that contain and select uh, no blank. Go to format and select uh, the second color for non blank cell. You can also choose border for non blank cell. I select uh, dotted line border click OK or 
select pun type as bold or italic you can also change your font color i select white color and then go to fill option and select dark color for your fill option click okay and again okay sorry there is a mistake because we have already apply blank cell rule and uh, we have to change blank cell to non blank cell and click okay there is an uh, extra cell selected i am deleting it and uh, increase the size of entry cell now in this same cell in which we apply the conditional permitting rule i want to apply this rule on each entry cell automatically it's very simple use keyboard short key and press control c to copy and hold control key select all the entry cell and press control v to apply the rule on entire selected cell now i type an entry to check the cell and uh, you can check here both of the rule are applied successfully now increase the font size of entry cell and uh, title as well you can change your page color anytime before micro recording and after micro recording for data entry check we use uh, if logical condition is equal to if bracket start c5 is equal to blank double quotation start double quotation close two time double quotation mean that cell is blank comma otherwise double quotation start is direct double quotation close comma 1 it's mean that if c5 cell have value d5 must be equal to 1 if c5 cell not have a value d5 cell must have a steric in simple words if c5 cell have a value and d5 cell show the one value if c5 cell is blank the d5 cell must be equal to steric after that we can change the value one into check icon now select entry cell color for d5 cell steric cell and apply the border to change one into icon cells click on conditional permit select new rule and select permit all cell based on their value after that click on permit style and select icon cells for icon style for the minimum value already available now select uh, check style when value is available already check uh, select here and uh, when less than value no cell icon for both the cell and uh, change the value is greater than equal to 1 greater than equal to 0 check on show icon only and click okay now i type something in the entry cell the strike sign will be changed into check icon and when we delete the entry the empty cell will be equal to steric copy steric cell with control c and select all the cell one by one and press control v it may be applied to all the cell hold the control key and select cell one by one and apply all border by mistake uh, we apply the rule on gender cell there is no need to apply a uh, rule on gender cell to clear the rule from uh, gender cell select the cell and go to conditional permitting clear rule and clear rule from selected cell to remove the border click on border option and select no border the same way select second cell and apply the same color to insert uh, option button go to developer tab if you don't have developer tab right click and go to customize ribbon now check on developer tab and click okay when you active developer tab click on uh, developer tab go to insert option and click on option button right click here and paste option button you can move and uh, adjust option button where you want to fix uh, press control d to make a duplicate a button for male and female now edit option button and rename as uh, male female one uh, button should be for female and second one for male 
the second one I rename for male now assign a cell for male and female for male and female we can right click on the cell and go to format control click on cell link click on cell and ok whenever we check on mail option the link cell give value 1 and when we check on female the link cell gave us value 2 in the second cell we use counter formula to count entry cell is equal to counter bracket start cell 1 comma cell 2 comma cell 3 comma cell 4 comma cell 5 comma cell 6 comma cell 7 bracket close enter now cell show 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now you can see that when we fill uh, the empty cell and the counter formula count the non empty cell for the next step we have to rename a sheet name uh, like uh, entry sheet uh, database sheet uh, class 1 student sheet class 2 student sheet and uh, you can add more sheet for data entry right click on the sheet and uh, click on rename and uh, type here sheet name or double click on the sheet name and rename now copy database sheet title once again go to entry sheet and uh, paste below the table for cell equality in entry sheet uh, we have to require two button for uh, submit entry and uh, clear entry select uh, two cell for clear and submit button and change the color and uh, type here submit uh, control enter and click on center align middle align in the same way in the second cell uh, type uh, clear center align and middle align to apply color visibility for submit button go to conditional format click on conditional format click on new rule use a formula to determine and here is a formula or a condition is equal to this cell is equal to 7 format green color for cell and white color for font click ok and then click ok now fill the blank cell and uh, check the condition check on gender and per clause you can also create your drop down list click on data validation select list and you can uh, write here manually class 1 class 2 class 3 class 4 etc and click ok now your list is ready click on class drop down list and select class and uh, write here father name mother name address and mobile number now check uh, uh, submit button now submit button color change into active color which we apply by conditional permitting select uh, submit cell and use keyboard shortcut key ctrl c go to home tab and click on paste option and then click on link picture now submit button is ready and uh, move up to set with the uh, entry form set the picture uh, in attach with the uh, entry cell and apply uh, picture style you can also apply uh, picture effect go to picture effect and select uh, one of the uh, picture effect this will be applied on the selected picture we need a second button to delete a data and uh, i design a clear button uh, manually by fill color and font color to copy clear cell press ctrl c and go to paste option and click on paste as a picture set clear button uh, equivalent to submit button and apply picture style and uh, picture effect hold ctrl key and select uh, button one by one and then go to align and uh, click on middle align in the next step is to queue the type entry with cell equality for the student name select below cell and type is equal to then go to first entry 
click on first entry and press enter in the same way select second cell and type equal to go to second entry and select second entry press enter for gender option button we cannot use simple equality sign we use a formula for option button is equal to if break start and select link cell i8 i8 is equal to 1 if i8 is equal to 1 comma double quotation start then type here male double quotation close comma otherwise type here female double quotation start female double quotation close bracket close and press enter by the formula we get female entry now we check on uh, male option and you get male entry the same way select class cell with the class entry and uh, is equal to link the father name and type here is equal to and go to mother name select mother name entry press enter and uh, address cell is equal to address select the address cell entry press enter and the last entry mobile number is equal to select mobile entry and press enter now select white font and apply automatic color now the data is ready to transfer in database sheet without any error now I hide the cell in which we apply formulas or change the color as a sheet color go to font color and apply sheet color your uh, font form is uh, almost ready you can hide extra detail or uh, you can use a free span to hide uh, below page to change school name cell color go to theme color and apply green color and phone color already apply as white go to database sheet and select the row title row and uh, apply green color as a theme and white color for the font center line middle line and apply all border increase the font uh, size up to 14 now your database title is ready and uh, easily uh, store data from uh, entry form go back to entry dashboard and here we need to record micro to transfer data to database sheet automatically for automatic data entry we need to record micro and click on developer tab click on record micro and uh, you can rename your record name i type here st ud and click ok now micro is a uh, start and uh, record all the step that you have to follow select the data and uh, use keyboard shortcut key uh, control c go to database sheet select an uh, empty cell in front of uh, data row hold control key and press down arrow hold control key and press right arrow hold control key and press up arrow single click uh, on use relative reference and uh, press down arrow without control key and use uh, keyboard shortcut key alt control v and check on value click ok now design your uh, data go to home tab apply all border center align middle align as you can see uh, date format uh, fixed as a uh, number format and use keyboard shortcut key shift control 3 it will be changed to date format use a left arrow to move left side in a blank cell go to developer tab and single click on use relative reference it will be closed go to entry sheet hold control key and select all data cell one by one and press delete key to clear the data and now click on first cell and click on stop recording now all the steps that we record in micro will be applied by using run macro or click on assign button 
to check uh, macro recording type an entry and then run macro go to view tab click on macro view macro and you can use directly run macro and also assign a button with the macro right click on the button and uh, assign macro click on assign macro select the macro record name and click ok or next time we just click on submit button or data will be transfer or save in database sheet now you can check it my data is successfully transferred to database sheet now i check the second entry and type nasir date of birth 392018 select gender class father name mother name address and mobile number when we enter mobile number submit button will be visible and click on submit button data will be transferred to database sheet and automatically save you can check it my entry is saved successfully to create a outside border select the range of your uh, data entry form go to border and click on more style select uh, color and apply outside border and you can check uh, the selected area is scored by the border and uh, you can also apply free span to freeze your uh, dashboard in uh, front of your page and uh, it will be fixed uh, on the front of your sheet now you can move left side down side and uh, your uh, entry form will not be hide now uh, i type second entry for clear button class father name mother name address and mobile now go to developer tab and click on record macro and uh, click okay now hold control key and select all the entry and press delete button now select first cell and go to stop recording right click on clear button and assign macro click on assign macro select macro and click okay to check macro record type and entry student name date gender and class now click on clear you can see that uh, clear macro work properly now you can uh, save this file uh, as a macro enable worksheet uh, go to file and click uh, save as and select uh, drive or one drive google drive where you want to save you can uh, save uh, this file easily just uh, uh, change the type as uh, micro enable worksheet i type here student admission form and select uh, excel micro enable worksheet click on uh, excel micro enable worksheet and click save now next time when you want to use this file you can use this file easily and your micro will be work properly i believe this video will be helpful for you so thanks for watching please like and subscribe my channel